What's up everybody, it's your boy Moses. Welcome to the channel again. In today's video, I am unboxing the new Studio Logic SL88 Studio MIDI controller. It's an 88 hammer action, heavy weighted MIDI controller. So it has all of the octaves that you're probably looking for. You don't need to octave down or octave up. And it has the hammer action. So if you want that feel of grand piano, that feel of that heavy weighted keys, you have it right in this keyboard. And I think it has one of the, you know, very best key beds that you can ever get. It's the FATA, I uh, believe it's the TR100 LR. I think the same keyboard on this MIDI controller is the same on the Arturia uh, Mac 2 Keylab 88. So I think it's a really good buy. So I'm gonna be unboxing this and I want you to come along. But the review video of this MIDI controller is gonna be coming very soon. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on the review because I'm gonna be dropping some stuff about what this MIDI controller has to offer, whatever it is that comes with it that makes it such a good deal for you. And the price for these things, I'm gonna be put it, putting it below. It has different prices in different places depending on where you're watching this video from. All right, let's get into the video. Come along, come on, let's go. inside what comes with this different head depending on wherever country you are you can have that and what else do you have? looks like a sustain pedal yep it is a sustain pedal if you don't have a pedal you get a pedal it's one of the few midi controllers that i know that comes with pedal most of them they don't come with it. Right. And you get, what's this? Uh, some thank you for choosing SL, uh, for choosing, for choosing Studio Logic, whatever knows. Uh, stickers and stuff. I'm wondering if there is a USB MIDI cable. And now that is where I don't see a USB MIDI cable. This is the first time that I'm buying a MIDI controller that doesn't have a USB MIDI cable. I mean like, so that's something to consider if you want to get this. You will need to have your own USB MIDI cable. So just something to think about. Right, USB in there. I think this could be a USB powered. What that means is you may not need to use the power adapter to power up this thing, but I will let you know in the review if that is the case or not. But right now, so far so good. Uh, 
guys. This template that comes with it, the power cord. You know what? I'm trying to open this up even more because yeah, there's nothing new. It's just more box. So yeah, that's what you get. You don't have a pitch bend and a modulation wheel like you have on some other MIDI controllers or keyboard. What you have is a joystick. So if you're not familiar with joystick mode, something to learn or something to consider if you don't like it. So, hey. All right, so, you know what guys? I just discovered something. I was gonna make my last scene shoot for you guys like this and talk about, you know, the closing statements, whatever thing that they do on YouTube, you know what I'm talking about? And I discovered something. When you bend this keyboard, when you position this keyboard this way, or this MIDI controller, I want to say, this way, the spring of this M action kind of messes up. If you look at how this thing is, just take a look at this. Like, it's so much a mess right now. And I, I almost got scared, like, oh my God, what happened? Am I gonna return this? What's going on? So it happens that you really can enjoy playing this keyboard this way. It's, it's a mess, you, you can't do anything with it like this until you put it in a proper position. You know, like this, and when you do, everything balances and you can play it properly the way it needs to be. But if you go upside down like this, before you know it, you see, it's not returning. It's not returning quickly or it's just, you know, see what I'm saying? So that's just one thing to bear in mind. The modulation, really strange to me. I'm not a fan of this, but I'll see what, what happens when I try it out. I don't know which one is the modulation, which one is the pitch bend, and I think this one is programmable. Actually, all of the three are programmable. And the keyboard is also, you know, it comes with an aftertouch. So we'll try all of this out and we'll see what we get. All right? One last thing before I go, open every scar gray. See, I'm wearing open every scar gray. Open every scar gray. It's a concert. It's a 31st night uh, live event actually e-live events. So everything will be streaming live on YouTube from my church's YouTube channel. So make sure you check it out. I'll put in a link below. Check the church out. If you've been watching my videos before, you see me playing keyboard at church. That's the church I'm talking about. We have really fantastic guest artists coming. We have uh, Shelvin Franklin, Sinatch, Austin French, Mr. Hilton, and our very own choir. So, hey, come on. It's gonna be fantastic. So make sure you be a part of it. That first night, December 31st, show is starting by 7 p.m., live stream starts 7 p.m., Facebook, YouTube, wherever you want to stream from, you're going to love it. All right, I'll see you on the next video. Uh, stay subscribed, more stuff's coming. All right, cheers, bye. It's time to try.